What's going on guys? Nitro here bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 video. Uh, this is the third one that I'm doing in a row, actually, but a little different this time. Playing some uh, domination with some former YouTubers. As you can see, we got some Zacademics. I'm running behind them. But uh, basically going back into our chat, because this is uh, pretty much a th three in a row commentary for me so I got all my trains of thought thrash in my head thrash in my head fresh in my head but uh, I'm trying to give you guys a little variation while I do it and this probably can't be too uh, again using silenced ACR I am running advanced UAV stealth bomber and juggernaut by the looks of it don't get the juggernaut in this game I don't think and if I do I probably didn't get to use it very long or I died really fast but uh, I'm not sure what my score in this game was. I looked at it, but you think I remember? No, I don't. So uh, we'll get Arcan. I don't even know what to say about this map. You pretty much want to control this top area because otherwise you're screwed. But this game, you need to have coordinated teams. And if your team isn't coordinated, you're going to get slaughtered all the time. And uh, that's just the fact, because if you're not controlling, like I don't care what anybody says, they, they can say that there's no power areas, there's absolutely power areas in this map, and if you don't control that area of the map, you're going to lose. And uh, definitely this upstairs in this mall area is a power area, but again, there's like 5,000 ways to get there, so, you know, you have to have a coordinated team in order to have all that areas cut off. And as you can see here, I'm just getting slaughtered because I can't get back up there. And I really don't know if this has anything to do with the game after all, if I like do some work down in the bottom, but I know from what I've played now, uh, you definitely need to have that upstairs. But again, there's this escalator here in the middle. There's another escalator to the left that you can go up. There's that back way door that you can go up. Uh, you can go through this back door here. You, you get shot from the window. Like there's just so many ways to get up here. Like you have to have your team on the ball, and uh, you know have to know how to control it. And uh, so, what can I say? I don't really have anything else to say about this map. But uh, I'm pretty sure I talked about all the assault rifles. M16 I left out, but it's pretty trash. I was looking at a chart with all the damage specs and stuff and it, it does a lot way less damage than the type 95 and it shoots slower which is retarded they should just do the same damage or it should be like a famas m16 type thing where the famas apparently did less damage whatever but the fact is they should both be like one burst kills or close to it anyways i don't know i think the m16 does 35 and type 90 dive Type 95 does 40 or something, but that's per bullet, so. But uh, other than that, then I talked about the AK and uh, pretty much talked about all the ones that are there. Pretty sure I've tried everything. Oh, yeah, the G36. I don't care for that gun too much. I don't know. I don't like the iron sight on it. And as you can see, I obviously don't care about it because uh, I forgot about it. But uh, I want to talk about SMGs. You start off with the MP5 and the UMP. Uh, both are pretty good for starting SMGs. Uh, UMP, in my mind, is the better of the two. Only because I think the rate of fire definitely makes things a lot more difficult. Especially with SMGs. But that's only for like aiming down sight, which I do a lot. I'm starting to learn how to like shoot from the hip more. But even the hip fire, I don't know, it's just easier to control something that shoots a little bit slower and for picking people off long range when you have to do that uh, it's definitely better to have the lower rate of fire uh, PP90 is also a good one um, I don't remember what comes after the PP90 I can't oh yeah P90 I don't really use the P90 I never really gave it a chance and I'm probably not gonna give it a chance and I don't know if there's another one but I know the MP7 is a uh, boss, and I love that gun. And uh, I definitely would have brought it with me if I didn't want to give other guns a chance. But uh, my next prestige, my next prestige token is probably going to go to unlocking the ACR because that's kind of my medium long range gun that I need to have. Even though I'm kind of getting used to the CM901. 
And if there's another SMG, I don't remember what it is. And it's probably not very good. But I'm really trying. I'm actually really. Oh, yeah, it's that PM9 thing. I, I never used it. I heard on you. I heard when I was watching the video that it wasn't very good. And it's got a super fast rate of fire, too. So I never really used it. It's probably actually really good, but. I'm not going to give it a chance when I feel comfortable with something. And the hype is on the PP90, but the MP7's where it's at. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say about those. LMGs, I haven't really used them too much. Never made a class with one, so I've only like picked them up off the ground. But oh, I did get a Juggernaut this game. It's, it's actually, like, they're pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I like them. But I'm not going to make a class with them because I don't have enough classes yet. Even though I've got seven. But they're all... They're all used with specific needs. But I do think uh, they're, they're a viable weapon. I mean, they're strong and they kill kind of fast. Crowd control there, me being a team player. We're just doing work to these kids right now. But, uh, so uh, I can't say much about LMGs. Uh, sniper is okay. Most of them are one-shot kill, but I don't really enjoy sniping in this game all that much. And look at me kill that kid, yeah. But, uh, uh, shotguns are garbage in this game. Uh, they said they patched the spaz, but it's brutal, man. It like, takes like five shots to kill a kid with it. And I was using like the models, which probably could be dirty if they were like they were in Spec Ops. But I have 100% accuracy and five deaths with a model. I tried to use it one game, and then I just stopped. I went 18 and 6 with 6 assists this game, but I think I kept it because I got a juggernaut and I got a kill with it. I thought it was special. But there's definitely people that did better than me. As you can see, number one orange is less deaths and more kills. Uh, and uh, I've never used a riot shield, so I can't give you any advice on that. The only good shotgun is the striker. But uh, that is all that I'm going to say for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace and love, my friends.